Teens across Durham are suffering in silence, coping with mental illness that oftentimes goes undiagnosed and untreated. But as Studio 12's Heather Wright reports, a new partnership between Ontario Shores and four district school boards is helping to bring these issues into the spotlight. Improving the lives of those who suffer in silence. A new campaign is being rolled out in schools across Durham, Peterborough and the Kawarthas, targeting teens with this simple message. You're not alone. It's all part of an effort to help teens who suffer from depression. And Greg Reeves says it's geared towards reducing rising suicide rates. We're going to use this program to really help kids to begin to understand, to consider, to think about and know that there is help for them and they're not alone. After car accidents, suicide is the leading cause of death among teenagers. And this program is designed to change that by getting rid of the stigma associated with mental illness. Adolescents in our community need to know that mental health uh, issues that they may experience are a normal part of life and they need to know that there's a safe place to turn for help. Help may be available, but sometimes it comes too late. Eleven-year-old Mitchell Wilson committed suicide in September after being bullied. The type of tragedy Dr. Stanley Kutcher says can be prevented when schools and the health care community work together. But we really have to start thinking, where can we make the intervention more effective and more efficient? And that's in the early years when people are just getting ill. So if we can prevent the illnesses, if we can identify and treat early, that's what we need to do. Area school boards will begin rolling out this program this fall, teaching grade 9 and 10 students about mental illness in health and phys ed classes. Heather Wright, Studio 12 News, with.